we could not sit at the counter at Woolworths. I do remember that. I love the hot dogs in Woolworths. I loved it. My mom would take me and my brother down. We did our shopping. You would have to stand up to eat your hot dog. We had a bus station <laughs> that was separate. You had to go in one part. And I remember seeing the water fountains where you had black and you had white. When you get on that bus, got to sit in the back. You know, if you want to ride anywhere, you had to sit in the back. Senior Assistant City Attorney and former West Palm Beach Mayor Samuel Thomas. The first African American police officers were no doubt hired maybe in the late 50s. When they were hired, they were not authorized to arrest white people here in, in West Palm Beach. Thomas says the NAACP and local activists worked to reverse that policy and many others. Meantime, the historic Northwest continued to be a thriving African-American community. Among the early prominent residents there, James Johnson, also known as Cracker Johnson because of his biracial heritage, a well-respected entrepreneur. Later, Dr. Alice Mickens, the daughter of former slaves, opened the home built by her husband Haley to African-American intellectuals and students, as well as visitors who'd been turned away from whites-only hotels. The Sunset Lounge, established in the 1930s, was a popular nightclub hosting top acts such as Lionel Hampton, Duke Ellington, Ella Fitzgerald, and Count Basie. The Sunset also served as a prestigious venue for elegant events. I was a debutante. I was introduced to society at the Sunset. The young man is holding your hand and you're gonna get your flowers and you felt special. Some longtime residents say early days in the historic Northwest were very special, in some ways idyllic. We had all kind of uh, fruits and stuff. We didn't know we was poor because we had chickens, we had eggs, we had coops, we had everything that we needed. My uncle would go out and kill alligator. We even had alligator tail. Back then, black and white students went to separate schools. Attempts to enroll black children in a so-called white school met with hostility and violence. Despite the 1954 Brown versus Board of Ed decision outlawing school segregation nationwide, it took a while longer for schools in West Palm Beach to integrate. That had to be in what, 63 I think, 64? It was when integration started. All I knew is I went to a different school. There were white kids at the school. It was a new experience. It, it was, it was different. 